This here is the Secret Original Card Protector Wallet. These people invented this thing. I think you need to watch this review. Welcome to Wallatopia. Please remember to look at the notes below for all the links for this episode. Now, let's open up the Secret Original Box Wallet. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this one. This is the box it came in. It was shipped to me from Holland. Let's open this up. And here we have what looks like uh, instructions on how to use it, which is nice, helpful. Talks about which portions of it is RFID safe and the practices of how they built it. Very nice. Here is the wallet itself. Let's get a quick look at this. This is the original. They have a lot of other versions beyond that. I wish this was truly 50 euros, but it's just a nice example of what you can do with cash there. It's like an explanation of what you can actually get in there, so it helps you organize your wallet properly. Another card like that. All right, let's get a look at this. Let's do a feature review of the Secret Original Slim Wallet. As you can see with this wallet, it uh, is a bifold, but we're gonna categorize it as such. It opens up here. So there is nothing here on the front or the immediate back. It has no outside exterior features. If we open it up, we notice, of course, this is a pop-up or box wallet here on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, as we open up one more time, we have a couple slots, two card slots, one here on the right, one here on the left, and integrated with that is a cash slot right here that uh, you put cash in and it folds over. Now this whole component here is all is glued onto the box itself. And as it closes, it just kind of wraps around itself like this. And that is a review of the features of the Secret Original Wallet. Now to the card and cash insertion test. You saw that, that we were able to put six cards in the box. Now the company recommends four to six, and of course that is dependent on whether they have, uh, you have embossed cards or not. If they're embossed, then you will only get four. And if you have a combination, then that's what's gonna limit you from a four to six. Embossed means that the, you have letters and numbers that are raised on the card, they're not completely flat. Now, you notice that using this plastic slot in here, you can fold your cash uh, really two different ways. I tried it, obviously you saw, with the US, which would work for Canadian currency, as well as Euros and Yen. And, uh, and so there, you know, that's how you would get that in there. And, and really the way is you can fold it over twice, put it in, or did what I did, which is lay it in there, and it just folds up as part of the wallet itself. Now, um, the quality is it's made from a European full grain leather and this solid aluminum box. They have diff 10 different types of leathers to choose from, and it's split very thin though. 
and they've been complaints about not about it not holding up well over an extended period of time. They have an excellent page on their website outlining all the different le uh, leather variations, treatments and finishes, and it is a great education and very transparent about how they acquire and use their leather. Now they say that uh, they use one of the oldest tanneries in the Netherlands. Most of all the tanneries in Europe have been acquired over the years by larger operations, but I'd venture a guess that they were using Rompa leather as their tannery, uh, which has a great reputation. Now, this pop-up box design was, is arguably started uh, by Secret. They're the ones that have the design awards for it. It's wonderful uh, innovation, thank you. They call it the card protector, and it was launched over 10 years ago. Now, it's been replicated many times by many companies, and the knockoffs are rampant. Now, their box trigger mechanism uh, has been tested over 100,000 times in operations, so they're really going for longevity up here. Now, the interior mecha mechanics looks common to other box wallets, but there are subtle differences. The Secred, for example, they recently redesigned it, and it's called the Salamander, and it helps prevent breakage of the mechanism when cards are accidentally forced down into the box. It provides a way of splitting the mechanism so that it kind of breaks open, so it can recover instead of falling outright and breaking. And when that happens, it just clicks right back into place. Now the pricing is $77. It's made in Holland and it was shipped to me from the Netherlands. That price is a little high for what you get, especially when compared to others in the market. You know, really, is there that much of a difference in the push-up mechanism to warrant that price? Now it is a great front pocket wallet, but they are confident you can use this as a back pocket wallet and not have a break. Now I'm not sure about that based on some things that I've read, where the sides of the aluminum box starts to cave in uh, which would cause problems for the box or for the cards to insert or extract. Now, of course, the box itself provides RFID protection. The friction mechanism on the card on both sides of this or in the box for cards results really in a very secure fit and not much of a chance of them falling out. I mean, they have cards in here now, and I can just toss this, and it takes a lot of effort to even get them to start emerging. This model without the strap that you see here on, on the back leaves the leather free to slide around against the box. It's the same problem as everybody else that uses a box and doesn't have a strap uh, secure on it. Now, it can be distracting, especially when you're trying to pull it in and out of your pocket or put it back in, it could catch on your pants, your clothing. And uh, But the Secret has all kinds of different versions, including one that snaps, if that's what you prefer. Now, it measures 4.2 by 3.1 by 0.8 inches thin. They have several different versions on their website, including standalone card protector boxes, the ability to mix and match colors, straps, and very tactile designs that are etched in the aluminum uh, box. It's all very appealing. Now, all their designs are focused around the foundation of this box, which they invented. The product has a two-year warranty and a three-year warranty if you register on their website. The serial number is on your box, so don't toss it until you've registered. And also, if you look on the inside of this box here, right on the inside of the lip, you can see your registration code as well as a QR code. Now, you'll receive a certificate of authenticity via email once you register, which ensures that you've got the real thing and not a knockoff. Now, there are consistent concerns about the aluminum box, like I mentioned, being able to bend and interfere with cards coming in and out, uh, as well as the cheapness of this plastic piece for the currency, and honestly, about how this whole piece is attached to the box, that this adhesive begins to pull away over time. And, you know, that, that can always, that could be the case, it doesn't matter what it is. Now, overall, of course, Besides that, you're dealing with something that has moving parts in it. And when you're dealing with anything with moving parts, there's the potential for it to break and not recover. I mean, no matter what, there's always that potential there. So now let's get to the final score. For quality, a three. For price, a two. For features, a four. Usability, a three. And perception, a four. That gives us a final score of 31 out of 50, or 3.1 out of five. Thanks for joining us as always. Look at the links below. If you have any other comments, put them down below as well. We appreciate you being here. Thanks a lot. Bye.